In 39th program, we are required to print this format. Now notice in this pattern, this half pattern we have already seen in the previous video. So this is one part and this is the second part. There is one more part which is required for printing spaces. Okay. Hence for writing this program, we will require four loops. One will be for number of rows. Then one would be for spaces. We will be using K. Then the second part can be printed with the help of J. And again, the third part will be printed with using same J. So suppose user has entered, let's say five as row count. Then our first for loop is for five iterations starting from one till five. Then in the next for loop, I'm writing K is equal to one and K less than or equal to N minus I. So if user has entered five, so five minus value of I, which is one. So five minus one will be four. So the iterations will be from one till four. So four times spaces will be printed. And then I'm initializing J to one and the condition would be one less than or equal to one. Hence the loop will be executed for one time. Hence a single star will be printed over here. In the next line, I'm initializing J with two. So this condition will be false because two cannot be less than one. Hence nothing will be printed over here. So this initialization of J equal to two is done purposely so that a star will be skipped over here. If we would have initialized J equal to one, then technically an additional row like this would have added over here. So to avoid that, I have initialized J with two. Then cursor will move on to the next line. It will come to this block because of printf slash n and then I will be incremented to two. So in the second iteration, this loop will be executed for three times. This will be executed for two times and this will be executed for one time. So my output will be like space, 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 then star, star, star. Then because of printf statement, cursor will move on to the next point. Then I will be incremented to three. So in the next iteration, this part will be executed twice. This part will be executed thrice and this part will be executed twice. So your output will be like this space, space, then three stars, then two stars and cursor will move on to the next line. So in the next iteration, this loop will be executed only one time. This loop will be executed for four times and this loop will be executed three times. So the output will be a space over here, then four stars and then three stars from next for loop. And then in the final iteration, this loop will be executed zero times because my I will be five and N minus five. So N is five, five minus five is zero. Hence K less than or equal to zero holds false. Hence this loop will not be executed. This loop will be executed five times because J is equal to one and J less than or equal to five. Hence iteration will be for five times and hence five stars will be printed over here. And then for final for loop, loop will be from two to five. Hence four stars will be printed. So this final for loop is going to execute for four times. And because of this last slash in cursor will be shifted here. And after that program will be terminated.